Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to another pen allowance video. It's been quite a while since I did one. Um, of course, with my pen allowance, I get the uh, the samples from Ink Journal every month, and I was getting the log and jotter, but I kind of realized when I cleaned my office out that I have too many notebooks, so I I uh, did kind of put a hold on that for now. But I got two things. Uh, one is this cart here. Uh, that I got from Target and then the other thing is this little pen that um just came today I've waited forever it seems like I guess it's probably only been two to three weeks but so I just thought I would jump on because I really like these kind of videos I, I you know it kind of gets our creative ideas going when we see what other people are up to so um some of you will remember that I got a really large cart uh, from Harbor Freight some time ago, and it was red. It's it's gorgeous, you know, but it turned out to be so bulky that it wouldn't kind of travel around with me. It wouldn't, I mean, there's no way I was going to be pushing that to the living room and to the office, I, I mean, the uh, dining room or even over by um, the kitchen table because it was too bulky. But I repurposed that, um, and I've got some measurements here. That one was like 16 this way by 30 inches this way. And the Target one is only like approximately 12 inches by 18 inches. And it's still got three tiers. So I know a lot of people um, are using these for art supplies and all of that. And mine is kind of a combination, you know, with my pen things, my creative projects that I'm working on right now, books, you know, pens. I mean... I always want to have my, um, you know, my fountain pens and my little cases with me. But, um, you know, I, I'm working on taming the two cats and I've got one that just, oh my goodness, he grabs things. But this is harder for him to get into here. I mean, he could do it, but it's not the same with the, I use like a TV table kind of thing, you know, like a tray with legs and he would just knock everything all over the floor. And my other ones were kind of trained and they were older, so... Anyway, this is working out really, really good. And when I get this all figured out, I'll probably do a video of what I have in here because that's fun. Um, but it, it was uh, $30 at Target and they had it locally so I could go and look at it. And it's just really sturdy and I like how it has the handles and it rolls real easy. So at the top here, I just have books and my uh, Knox and Clear pen case and another, um, I got a fiction book and a couple of, Nonfiction that I'm reading. My glasses for when I have to read or even watch TV because my trifocals are giving me trouble. But, and then the currently working on the purple here. So I just wanted to share that this was a better option. And over in the kitchen, it's working out wonderful because it's holding cat food, supplies, oversized pots and pans. It's got three levels and it's huge. And it's parks right next to the side of the refrigerator and it fit absolutely perfect and it even holds my rubber gloves and a like a towel so if it wasn't such a hideous uh, setup over there right now with all the stuff for Thanksgiving I would show you so that's the one item the the target uh, it's called a three-tier rolling cart and um, they have them at uh, Ikea, they have them at Michael's, and then they have them at Target. And I watched a wonderful review of all three, and I decided this they were all about the same price. But this one with the handles was going to really do it, and oh, it is a joy. So then the other thing uh, is, well, I'll show you at the end what, what I'm going to use. I'm going to try to organize it better with some pouches, but I wanted to get into the pen because... This is a pen channel, so um, I ordered off of eBay this pen, and I've waited a long time. It's called Moon Man Mini Acrylic Fountain Pen and Glass Dip Nib Pocket Travel Gift Pen. Oh my goodness, it's got a lot going on. And I mean, it's just uh, my first glimpse is what you're going to get. The color on this one is Gradient Red. So let's take a look at it together, because I just got the mail. Um... And we're going to compare it to, let's go ahead and compare it to my little, uh, the other Moon Man. Uh, these are the little rickshaw cases that hold. So it's, right away I notice it's a, a little longer. Okay, and it's narrower. So it's the, you know, the uh, <laughs> diameter? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely narrower. So, but it's really pretty. This is a really pretty acrylic. My goodness. 
Um, and it was a little bit pricey. I thought about it a lot. And I just kept going back and forth, but I, I must have watched Chris Rapp's video, I don't know how many times, and I just decided, you know, it comes with an extra nib on it as a glass nib, and we'll look at that in a minute. And and in here comes another one with a extra fine nib unit, all ready to go. So even if I broke the glass nib or something happened, you know, I'd still be able to use the pen. And it's an eyedropper pen, so I was really excited. So here it is. Um, with this little, I've never had any sort of glass nib pen. This will be my first one. And, you know, it's not expensive. It was $21. Well, I, I had to think about it a little because I'm really, I'm kind of on a no spend. I mean, trying not to spend on pen stuff because I have so much. And my whole program is to enjoy what I have and use what I have. But this just caught my eye real bad. And I thought, oh, dear. I think I got to have it. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, this part you can just use for dipping. And that, that'll be kind of fun to experiment with the ink just a little bit. And then it screws out. But I'm not going to mess with it yet because I'm really needing to slow down and be real careful. I don't want to break it, you know. And um, so that's what it looks like. It just screws right in. You know, very reminiscent of the Moon Man pen. But it's got this pink in the middle with red on the edges. Like I said, they call it gradient red, and I love the fact that it came with the uh, with the nib unit. So this is just, you know, how I used to do with pen allowance videos and just show you. And it came with a little dear customer. We usually offer 25 to 75 percent off coupon for pens in our Amazon. Oh, so that just gives you their Amazon, um, their email, and their Facebook, huh? Anyway, it came from China, and it took quite a while. And then it, it had this little slip box, and then on the side it says Morapen, Morapen, Marapen. I'm not sure. Stationary. So it just kind of goes in there. Maybe I'll mess with that later because it, it, you know, it slips in there. But <laughs> okay. So now I just wanted to show you the other uh, project uh, that has to do with the cart. But I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, Pause the video, move over my camera just slightly so we can actually see what I'm trying to do here. Okay, I'll be right back. There, I'm back. Okay, so what I have done, what, what I got really inspired um, by Art Journal Girl. She's a YouTuber and I will link the actual video that just really inspired me um, that she did where she took all of her pouches or, you know, she took a lot of her pouches and she organized her her cart which you know like the one that we just looked at the the three-tier cart and she organized it by putting her different art and uh, creative things into pouches and I just went around the house and I started gathering up because I really like zipper pouches a lot myself and each one of these kind of has a story you know like I found this little one it's probably for coins but um right now I'm using a drawstring per uh pouch for coins so I thought well I'll get them all even these small like two inch by three and a half or whatever and I'll see what I have and then I'll start organizing which I don't have time right now but I'm going to be having time and then this one was one that was given to me by my son's first really serious girlfriend her, her mother gave me this and it, it just really nice you know it's a little bit bigger than the other one um, you can you know it has a longer zipper so you could fit more so I'm thinking about little things, you know, that can go in here. And I was super inspired by her video. I'm going to watch it again because it was so good. And then this is just one. Every year at Christmas, whenever uh, Dad used to give me Christmas money, I would go and get little Vera Bradley things. And this is just a little coin purse from there. I'm not sure whether I'll use it in the art stuff or not, you know. Um, and here's one that was uh, my mother-in-law gave me. Let's see, it says... Oh, what does it say? Charter Club. Okay, she bought a purse, but she wasn't going to use this. So, and it, you know, it's kind of a, it could be leather, I don't know. But it's it's got a lot of room, and I actually, it'll fit a regular size crochet hook. So, it fits quite a bit of little doodads for um, crafting. So, I got that one out. And then, this is a clear one that was, I guess, for makeup, and probably needs to be washed again, but... But that would be good for anything like the little tiny watercolors where I know it's, it's probably going to get wet or it's going to get yucky. So that, I got that one out. And then this, oh, this is another one that my mother-in-law gave me. And 
I've been real careful with it because I was afraid I'd tear it. But she bought herself and me each, um, this was at Hobby Lobby and it had like a, a sewing kit or something. And I, I, I right away ran up and said, oh, that's nice. And then uh, I guess when I wasn't looking, she got them. She got one for each of us. But I didn't really care about anything that was inside it. I knew I'd use this because it stands up, you know. And that's the thing about most of mine, they don't. Uh, but now I'm all inspired because our journal girl talked about the papaya ones that are so pretty. And um, so that's that one. And then this is a makeup bag, but I don't wear makeup anymore. This was uh, Vera Bradley. Um, well, it still is. <laughs> it still is Vera Bradley. But it does have a nice, uh, you know, kind of a waterproof inside. So again, this might make a good watercolor one. Because I don't think I would make a lot of fingerprints on it with just watercolor stuff. I might with ink, though. So I'm a little bit worried about some of my pouches. Um, I'm looking at the Blue Q brand on Amazon, kind of thinking about getting a couple of those that are real um, easy to clean. But this one I found out at a little drugstore in Kingsville, Texas, where I really like to go. And it's uh, it was relatively recently and Mandel, uh, my husband picked it up for me because I was like admiring it and of course you know I usually have my pen allowance spent as it comes in the door because that's how I am but he um, got this for me and I'm not sure what what it's marketed as but I thought this is nice and big let's see let me get a ruler I'm not really sure on the uh, I guess this is like oops upside down inside out still is this ruler drives me nuts. Okay, it's like nine inches by mm, almost seven. So uh, nine wide by seven. So that's a good size. And, uh, you know, I, what I was thinking on this one was either uh, little little stickers or the little, um, I, ha I use flags and stuff when I'm reading. So if I'm always losing them, and I need to have them in a place on that cart where I can find it when I'm reading. So that's that one. And then this one, this is, you know, it's just a standard bank envelope uh, thing. Let's see if we can get, uh, I mean, they're standard. You've probably seen them before. But it's long, so it's like a long pencil thing, almost. It's ten and a half inches by... Um, six? So that's pretty good size, you know. That'll hold any kind of a long pencil or a, even this, you know, great big long fountain pen, um, well, dip pen. But this was my dad's, so this is real sentimental to me. And I had it, and uh, of course it's for money, but no money in it. <laughs> he was better with money than me. Okay, and then this is my, my cherished, prized, uh, top of the line uh, uh, zipper pouch, which is the, it's like a journal pouch from Rickshaw. And I've done a separate review on this. It, this is just awesome. I am a little bit afraid. I don't want to dirty it up or make it, um, but it has a nice surface. I just, I don't want to get inky fingers on it or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure it would just give it more character, but that's just how I am. So what I'm, uh, one of my, you know, projects here is to take these and, you know, really think about it and get my stuff organized over there on that cart and I'm look I'm really looking forward to this but I wanted to share with you her video so I'm going to do that because this is not my idea this is just I happened upon it and I thought what a neat idea and you know it's not like our house is tiny tiny it's like 800 square feet but we don't have a lot of uh, just a minute Willie I'll be there in a minute there's kitty cat there Willie he I guess he thinks he needs to go outside we don't have a lot of storage and so the solutions like this really help with the hobbies and with between the reading, the crocheting, the writing, the journaling and, and uh, working with my fountain pens, um, I really need to have uh, spaces for things. So um, I think the only other thing I was going to mention was uh, what color I what I'm doing with my now that I finished the uh, ink uh, profile series from the I got back into the broad nib now in the serendipity. And in it, I have the KWZ Thief's Red. So that was really, that's really nice. Oh, I'm just making a mess now. But but um, it's so nice. And I think I'm going to, I've got holiday cards. I'm going to get those in a second. 
So there's like swirling projects, uh, you know, by the gazillion going on here, but it's fun. And it's kind of nice to be able to change the pace and and look at all, you know, a broader amount of my little projects right now. It's cold and raining and tomorrow's our Thanksgiving holiday, but <laughs> I always like to have things to work on. So, and then um, last but not least, our holiday cards. Uh... I think they're really pretty. I like them, and I'm going to test out one, you know, start. Uh, they're by Lang, so they're really nice envelopes, kind of a linen envelope. And I, I get a, got them at Half Price Bookstore, so that was nice. And it was a long time ago, as soon as they brought them out, because the selection of these particular kinds, you know, they have these beautiful envelopes, and then the inside is always so nice. Um, the boxes are keepsake almost. My grandmother or my aunt would use them for fudge, but uh, there's no fudge going on here. Uh, no, because we're both on low carb and we're we're getting healthy. We've had enough fudge, to, I think, to last our lifetimes. But So the envelopes are real pretty too. Of course, this is a spoiler for folks, I guess, that know me real well and might get one. But <laughs> So the envelopes are real pretty. That go with them and I'm I'm not sure yet which fountain pens but I have some older of these where I can sacrifice one of the envelopes it's the same paper so I'm going to find out what's going to work best probably a pit artist pen for the address and just don't worry about that and the letter that if I if I do sometimes I it's the only time to write a letter during this time of year um to some of the folks you know like ants and that, that we kind of lose track of each other for a while. And then Christmas, here it comes. So, um, I just wanted to show you. I'm not sure why. But, okay. So, thanks for joining me. And I hope that's given you a couple of little ideas. And especially if you head over to her video about how she... Uh, her pouches are beautiful. And um, how she organized her art supplies just... I don't know. I hadn't watched a video in a long time that was so good. So I want to share that with you too because I'm just getting started. I'm just realizing I have a lot of these already. So I pulled them all out. <laughs> so I hope you're having a great day. And uh, uh, where's that pen? Hope you enjoyed a little glimpse at this. I know a lot of you probably already have it in use and are way down the road with figuring things out. But it looks pretty easy. It looks a lot like the other pens. And uh, the nib unit, will, it appears that it'll screw out. It has some threading. Whoops. Wow, it's hard to see that. There it is. It has some threading, so I'll just proceed carefully, and I'll probably watch Chris's video again. So <laughs> I guess this is a video about what videos to watch. There. Anyway, there's always value in that. So I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.